Okay guys, today I would like to resolve the mystery of Anunnaki, A-N-U-N-N-A-K-I, a very large superhuman race which is supposed to have landed on earth from some other planet which is supposed to have ruled many civilizations in human history. In fact, in ancient Egypt, it's believed that the Anunnaki ruled Egyptians and they are behind the construction of the pyramids. Apparently, the local Egyptians with their crude technology, practically no technology, couldn't have even imagined building pyramids, forget building it. With the Anunnaki who made the Egyptians their slaves, who constructed the Great Pyramids, most likely scenario. And the Anunnaki came from other planets. Now, we will take a look at some of the slides while I continue with the narration. So, carvings like these are pretty common on the walls of ancient monuments. The one distinguishing feature of these carvings is that they are all wearing some kind of a headgear and they are in some kind of a suit. Some of them have wings, some of them have distorted shapes, whatever. But one unique thing about all these Anunnakis is that they are larger than human in size. They were pretty big in size. And this physical bigness is practically one of the reasons why the building of the ancient Egyptian pyramids would have been a cakewalk for them. In the sense, the Anunnaki would be capable of transporting those stones even without any advanced technology because of their sheer physical size and strength. In every religion, there are mentions of such giants. There is mention of Goliath in Bible. There is mention of Dajjal in Quran. There is mention of Hanuman, Lord Hanuman in uh, Hindu mythology. Lord Hanuman is said to have superhuman capabilities, so much so that uh, he could lift whole mountains by all by himself. So he had great superhuman capabilities. Okay, next slide, please. So this is another depiction of the Anunnaki. Please note the distinctive costume, the suit, which almost looked like a space suit. The distinctive headgear or protective headgear, which is classic for a space traveler. Next image, please. This is our classic Hanuman, as uh, uh, mentioned in the Hindu mythology. Now, he was quite large in size and he was capable of superhuman uh, performances, like lifting a whole mountain and transporting it across the oceans. So, the common factor in all these is that they were rather big and they had superhuman powers. So to continue our analysis further, uh, I request camera can come back to me, please. So the Anunnaki was not only big in size, they were big in intellect as well. They had large sized brains capable of uh, computing faster than humans, capable of uh, innovating faster than humans capable of finding solutions much better and faster than human beings. So, the word Anunnaki is actually a word which has been mentioned differently in various regions of the world, in various religious textbooks. The only difference is the term used, like Goliath, Dajjal, 
Hanuman. But then what is common for all of them is their large size and their large brains and their large capabilities and capacities. So Anunnaki is the basically an alien race which survived on earth and now there is, there is a cult and there are a lot of people who believe that Anunnaki is still going around. They are still very much alive and kicking on earth and they have found some evidences here and there which are not conclusive by any means, any standards. But the possibility that a superhuman race landed on earth, they initially enslaved human beings for the task they assigned to them, like building pyramids in Egypt. And subsequently, for some reason, the Anunnaki disappeared from the face of earth. It is believed that maybe the flex, the destroyed most of the bases of the Anunnaki and they gradually receded from the face of earth. But I'm not too sure whether this particular superhuman, superhuman race is extinct from the face of earth. There are actually some evidences coming off and on about presence of Anunnaki spotting larger than life human beings here and there. Let's be watchful and let's try and see if this myth of Anunnaki is a myth or a fact which is unexplored. Thank you very much.